Um, this next song is about, it's a song about a songwriter. Um, a man who, this man, this songwriter was a big inspiration to me when I became a songwriter. He was one of my biggest inspirations. And he lived 100 years ago. He was called Tommy Armstrong. And he was known as the Durham Pitman Poet, Bard of the Coalfields, the Colliery Balladeer, many such titles. And he was, in fact, um, the, the first modern day social songwriter in England. And he was writing songs a hundred years ago. And there's a very good reason why he began writing songs, and I'm going to explain it to you. This man, he was a, he was a coal miner. He was very small, he was about, he was maybe even smaller than me, believe it or not. A very small, very thin man. Um, typical, typical coal miner, you need to be small to get into the little scenes, yeah. And you need to be small to ride the pit ponies, yeah. Anyway, this man Tommy Armstrong, he had two in his life, two things that he liked to do very much. One of those things was making children. He loved making children because he had 17 children, or his wife did. Can you imagine it? Can you imagine that? 17 children. And his second hobby was drinking beer. Does that curl? Yeah, you, you respect that. This man liked to drink beer. Now, the problem he had was he did not earn very much money working as a coal miner. And all the money he did earn was used, was spent to feed and clothe his 17 children. It left him no money for his other hobby, drinking beer. What does he do? He needs a solution. So he uses his creative talent to write songs and poetry. And he sells them. He sells his songs and poetry for beer money. A very, very wise man. And he wrote, he wrote songs about the people and the places where he lived. And this is our song to him. And this man was bow-legged, he couldn't walk properly. He looked, he walked like he'd been on a horse all day, like this. Bow-legged, Pitman Tom.
Thank you.